alaikum friends this is Atik Shino Savan and today we are gonna talk about duration type in Primavera P6 so without wasting any time let's move to the software so this is your software and here in the previous lecture I have defined a EPS known as Primavera lectures and uh, now what you have to do and we have defined project in it name this new project now what you have to do is we have to right click on it and open the projects so here the projects opened here we defined a WBS and in a WBS I have defined a activity now this activity is lecture on the types so first of all we have to define an activity which I have already defined and uh, secondly you can see that this thing is known this window is known as top layout and this layout is known as bottom layout so in the bottom layout you have several tabs like general status and uh, here you can see this duration type this duration type so today we are gonna talk about these four different types of duration types what are they gonna do and uh, what are they not gonna do so let's start so first uh, we have defined an activity with default duration of five days now what you have to do first we have to assign resource to our activity for that we have to come to this resource tab and from here add resource you have been shown up with a resource sheet here you can assign any predefined resource to your activity so let me just assign this pent and note down that its default units per time is at hours per day so this resource is gonna work for us 8 hours per day so click on this and from here you will see this assign assign so close the window and you can see that your work has been your resource has been assigned what will we do next so if we go to the general tab first I have assigned here uh, first I have fixed my duration type to fixed duration and units so what happens in fixed duration fixed duration and units your other units and the duration in this specific activity is fixed so what if I am gonna change the duration what type of changes will be going to happen in my activity so if I go to resource tab here by clicking over here and I am going to change keep in mind that we have fixed duration and units so if I change the units although these are fixed but even though I change the budgeted units from 40 to let's suppose 80 or you can change these units from 8 per hour day to 10 hours per day so let's see which thing is gonna change for us we have fixed duration and units so as soon as I click on this it moves to 10 hours per day so what happens our total work has been changed to 50 hours so you can say that our duration was fixed 5 hours and it remains fixed while our units budgeted units have been changed to 50 so this is what happened now if you just reset it to 8 hours per day and you change the duration so let's see what happens so if we change duration to the 10 days the duration I have changed and the units we have kept constant in that duration type so the thing is changed so the thing changed is remaining units per time so you can observe over here that it has been changed to 4 hours per day instead of 8 hours per day so this is something we are gonna do with the duration type of fixed duration and units so let me do one other for you like fixed units per time so if I am doing fixed units per time this means that if I go to resource tab this means that our units per time will be fixed so let's just keep it uh, let's just move these all the things to our previous and keep this as 5 keep this to 8 hours per day these are the 8 hours per day so and the best units as yeah so as by default which we defined earlier uh, before 
setting our this duration type to fixed units per time our settings was this that we have five duration five hours duration five days duration sorry and eight hours per day of the unit time and the batch units are 40. now i have fixed so actually we, i have to do this later but uh, i have done it earlier so now i'm going to explain this that if now i keep my duration type as fixed units per time so what happens let's see our units per time eight hours per day are fixed so now if i am gonna change the duration of our activity to let's say 10 days so in the last uh, duration type you saw that remaining units per time had been changed but in this duration type we know that the uh, units per time are fixed so let's see what happens i have changed the original duration of our activity to 10 days and you can see our remaining units per time is same as 8 hours per day but budget unit has been changed so why it doesn't change because we have fixed the duration type in the general tab to fixed units per time so that's why our fixed units per time are remain constant while the units have been changed so if i just restore it to the five let's see what happens now now if i change the budgeted units let's say from 42 i'm gonna change it to 20. so you know that our durations the units per time are constant we will see that our duration will gonna increase so as i press enter you can see that from 5 it jumped up to 3 days so actually this is 2.5 but uh, 2.5 is not going to show us here so it just rounded, that, uh, rounded it up to 3 days so now what happens if you deliberately change your unit time so you will have to see that in which either this change is coming in the duration or this change is coming to the budget unit so let's just now let's see i change this 8 hours per day to 10 hours per day and let's see what happens you can see change has been occurred into the duration so you saw that your duration has been reduced to four days so that's how we do with the resource type i hope you like the videos and uh, now it's time for me to beg you something <laughs> anyway let's press this red button write down the video and subscribe the channel and uh, don't forget to share it please so I will see you in the next video. Till then, Allah Hafiz.